हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस फॉर विद्या भवन हाई सेकेंडरी स्कूल दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स फिजिकल साइंस एंड द चैप्टर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू इज द वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट सिक्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट मेनी काइंड ऑफ द वेस्ट एंड देयर क्लासीफिकेशन्स and now we are going to discuss about the waste management so it is the collection and transport and disposal of garbage sewage and other waste products waste management encompasses management of all processes and resources for proper handling of the waste materials for maintenance of waste transport by trucks and dumping facilities it compliances with the health codes and environmental regulations so the waste management is very important because in our not only in our country but in our art every day by a many procedures a huge number of the waste can be generated from the uh, starting from the household to the industry everywhere there are household waste there are industrial waste there are hospital waste and many more some are the biodegradable some of the non biodegradable so we used to uh, do something for them to manage those waste products there we are introducing the 4r principle to like reduction of the waste products these are the four r principles this four r principle the first one is reduce the second one is reuse the third one is recycle and the fourth one is refuse so here for four of them the first letter is r so that is why it is called four r principles okay so uh, let's discuss what are the four r principles with the picture this is the four principles or the four r processes of waste reduction are like reduce reuse recycle and refuse in those four words the r is the first word a uh, first letter so that is why it is called four r process so the first one is reduce that means those waste products which increase the garbage in our environment should be reduced in day to day business in the regular basis we have to reduce them that is the plastic bags thermocols plastic bottles etc the next is reuse that means reuse the waste materials instead of discarding them that means the vegetable peels the exchangeable batteries uh, the rechargeable batteries etc the vegetable peels we can use for composting the reusable battery we can charge it and uh, the, in that way they can also reduce the heavy metals waste the third one is recycle that means this involves making of new useful products from the waste products that is the plastic toys the old iron the glass materials papers aluminium etc the next one is refuse that means people should learn to refuse to accept such materials which would eventually produce non biodegradable waste that can actually reduce the waste the uh, huge waste burden of our earth these are all about the reducing of the waste products principle so after the four r principles we are going for the waste recycling principles okay waste 
recycling principle. Or uh, waste recycling process you can say. So this process uh, used materials into new useful products. That is the only target of doing that. It is done to reduce and the use of raw materials that would have been used. Recycling also uses less energy and great way to controlling air, water and land pollutions. So the effective recycling starts with the household or the places where the waste is created. In many serious countries, uh, the authorities help households with bean bags with labeled on them. The households then short out the waste themselves and place them in the right bags for collections. And that means uh, the work less difficult. In our country, in our uh, West Bengal also, there are uh, in every house, the uh, municipality gives us the blue basket and the green basket. The green basket is for the biodegradable waste products and the blue baskets is for the non-biodegradable waste products. And the people who are taking the this garbages from our house we have to give them accordingly and they took it and then the further procedures are happening so first the waste items are can be usually recycled include the mainly paper waste the first is the paper waste and the paper waste means that includes the books the newspapers, the magazine, cardboards, boxes, envelopes, etc. And the second one is the plastic waste. And the third one is the glass waste. The plastic waste means mainly the items include the plastic bags water bottles, the rubber bags and the plastic wrappers, they cannot be biodegradable and so the bioplastics we can use that can be biodegradable and which can be degraded by the bacterial enzymes and reuse of the plastic is highly recommended. So that is why we have to use the higher micron plastics that can be biodegradable or can be reused or recycled. And the glass waste means all the glass products like the uh, broken bottles, like the other uh, alcoholic bottles, uh, alcohol bottles and some of the glass, uh, that broken glasses that are normal glass uh, products or showpieces that we can found. And sometimes the sauce bottles, the ketchup, jam bottles are also in it. So then in the next we are going to discuss about the recycling of this paper waste as well the recycling of the glass waste and the aluminium waste. Uh, so I am completing this video with this. In the next video we are going to discuss and more about the paper waste recycling process. Till then thank you very much.